Hey, what's up? How's it going, everyone? It's Yasser here today. And today, I want to talk about blockchain oracles. Uh, I just want to give a brief explanation on what it is, just so that everyone can understand why that's important to the blockchain space. So, let's say, you know, I want to access the blockchain. And I'm going to say user. And I want to access the blockchain. And I want to use or find some, uh, let's just say, weather report, right? So, if there's no oracles, for the blockchain to access real-world data, um, that's very not likely to happen. Uh, here, right? So, let's just say this is, I'm going to put a circle here, and let's just say that's real-world data. Right? So, a blockchain can't just go and grab real world data and automatically feed that into the blockchain without some type of smart contract or something telling the blockchain to do so. So here's where, so it's actually not possible and this is where blockchain oracle comes into play and that's, and this is what makes it possible. So I'm going to try to create a eye here just to kind of symbolize oracle. Okay, there we go. So here's how it works, right? So in the real world, what happens is um, someone enters the, you know, let's just say weather report to the database and uh, to some type of central database. And that database has that, inf that data, that information there, right? So what a blockchain oracle does is that it retrieves that data and you know once it retrieves that data it sends it back to the blockchain so here's basically what it looks like I'm trying to move this here what is going on okay anyways uh there we go we get the idea all right, so here's how the step works, right? So a user goes into the blockchain. I'd say I'm trying to, I access the blockchain. I'm trying to access the weather report. What happens is uh, now there's a smart contract here, and that's known as the uh, a blockchain oracle. So the blockchain calls the oracle. What the oracle does is it, it's basically that a third party that goes out into the real world or like centralized databases and stuff, and it, retrieves that data from the centralized database and feeds it back into the Oracle, right? And of course, of course, it doesn't have to be a centralized database. It could be other decentralized databases out there too, right? Uh, wherever that real world data is getting put into. Now it has that data. It sends it back to the blockchain. Now the blockchain has that real world data. And in return, it can send that data back to the user you know, so that, you know, the user can now be able to access that data. So that's why blockchain oracles are really, really important. Without them being a third party in here, but it's basically a smart contract. Without that smart contract here, then blockchains can't go outside of its own network to retrieve these data. So that's why it's important. Uh, here, here's, here are some of the few, like, uh, Oracle projects that are out there. Um, there's Chainlink, there's UMA, API3, there's Band, Teller, Dia, Razor Network, and there's definitely a lot more, but these are just a few of them. So, you know, if you have time, take a look at them. Uh, blockchain oracles are going to be very important to this blockchain space as it's a needed smart contract in order to put real world data onto the blockchain. All right, and that's all I got for today. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.